Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Ask the Expert, hosted by myself and my co-host, the amazing Teresa Reem. We're looking forward to sharing another expert with you, and we encourage you to make sure that you don't let it stop here, right? You know, the goal of this is really for them to share some really great information and some value that you can kind of take and, and just kind of apply it to your life or to your business. And we encourage you to make sure that you connect with them as well, because again, it doesn't just stop here, right? So we invited these experts here to spotlight, to share their value, their expertise for you. So Teresa, I'm really excited that you're here with me. Will you tell us and them a little bit about Mike? I certainly will. Thank you, Patty. Today, we will be talking about reaching your fitness goal in 30 minutes in just three to five times a week. So Mike Kirsten is a fitness trainer and the owner of Clovis Fit Body Bootcamp. Before opening his franchise, he, Mike worked in the grocery business, and he was also a P90X online coach and ran an outdoor boot camp just for fun. In 2015, Mike suffered two career-ending injuries, one of them requiring surgery. Knowing he could not return to his job, Mike searched for other opportunities and found Fit Body Franchise. Mike proudly opened his doors in January of 2016, woo, woo, and never looked back. He loves working with his clients and sees the result and seeing the results that make them happy and keep them healthy. So Mike, welcome to our show, and I'm so glad you're here. I'm really glad you're here too. This is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. So thank you for being here, Mike. Thank you for the opportunity. I'm excited. Good, so let's dive right in. Yes. So we all know that there's gyms everywhere, right? There's even some boot camps and a lot of different things. But I have to tell you, just like networking and really doing business, it's really not about the building. It's really about the people, right? And it's really about, you know, getting that right vibe and having somebody really help you. And like I said, Teresa has spoke really highly of you. What would you say is the number one thing that differentiates you from others in your industry or what you're the most passionate about in your business? Really great question. And, and uh, I think, I think it, my answer will catch you off guard. I think what makes me unique is I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> and let me, let me explain that. Uh, I, I do say that, say that a little bit tongue in cheek, but if you went to a young trainer, uh, just picture that in your mind. You go to a younger trainer, we'll say uh, 20, 30 years old. You know, he's very much into what the book says and I'm wearing my, my little uh, tank top and, you know, uh, he hasn't really taken a, too many alligator bites in life. Now, at my age, um, you know, I've been through quite a few injuries. I've been working out a long time. And uh, when somebody comes into my, in my doors and they say, hey, look, Mike, I've got a back injury. I've got a shoulder injury. Um, a lady today, she has two spinal fusions. Um, you know, the, the needs are the same, and yet the body they're in is a little bit different. So when one comes into my, my, my building and they say, hey, I'm a 50-year-old I'm a lady, and I'm challenged by I really want to lose weight and I need to know, do I need a different microwave? I, you know, well, hang on, let's back up the bus here. Let's go back to what we're really dealing with. And so the nice thing is with me being an older guy, I've been through a lot of that. I, I understand what these questions are. I understand the extreme need of like, I need to lose this weight right now because I had a salad last Thursday. I haven't hit my goal and I walked 10,000 steps last week. I understand what they're saying. I understand their desperation, but I'm old enough for them to realize, hey, let's go back to the beginning and let's focus on the big steps to make us start to progress. But if we don't start here with the small things, it doesn't matter what microwave you're using. That's so far out in the fringe. Let's stop worrying about that. So what makes me different is I've, I've been through a lot. Um, Um, I think your sound went, Mike. Oh, it did. Mike, we can't hear you. Anyway, can you can you hear me? We can hear you. Yes, now. we can hear you now. Thank you. 
So out after, uh, hi, my name's Mike Kirsten. What did you hear? They <laughs> just, uh, yeah, how, how when they walk in the door, what you're going to do to, to um, help them. And how the microwave's different. Yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, yeah, the mic, the internet, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, uh, yeah, when people come in, I just have a lot more experience. I've been around a long time. So I hear, I hear their extreme need of right now, but still I can bring them back to really let's, let's get on square one and I can kind of find out where they are physically, emotionally with their habits and uh, we can move forward there. And that's, that brings people a lot of peace. I'm not an I extreme think, guy. You know what I think I hear, heard you say right there is that you listen, <laughs> which mm -hmm. I think is a really important skill. And I think of all the places I need somebody to listen, somebody to listen to what my fitness needs are is really something very, very important. I know that for myself, I've had one hell of a, of a fitness journey of my own. And I know for sure that I don't want to go in and tell somebody what my needs are and have them say, oh, you need to just do it. You need to push through it. You need to this. Mm -hmm. I want to hear things like when I say I do have a bad back, I want to hear somebody say, oh, well, there's more than one way to work that muscle. So if you can't get on the floor and do sit-ups, let me find another way that we can work that muscle. And it sounds to me like that's sort of kind of what you're saying, that you're going to listen to what we say and then find a way to meet our needs, whether it's the traditional, whether it's the something different that you've been around long enough to be able to do that. Yes, let me speak to that a little bit um, because I'm on the other side of, of Mike when he's doing this. And what I noticed first off the bat with Mike is that he's an owner, but he teaches almost every class himself. Mm. And so he's circling, he's talking with us. He's making us feel comfortable while we're exercising. It goes by in a flash because he's making it interesting. And then he's watching how the, my form and the other people's forms are. And he's coming and gently correcting or saying, oh, I know your shoulder's kind of off. Why don't you do this instead? And so that's what I was really impressed upon with Mike because not every fit body has the owners teaching every class. That is a differentiator a for sure. And that is true. And, and I think that, I can only speak, I'm a woman, right? So I can only think of a woman over 50. How people say things to me matters too, right? You know, because I think one of the biggest things about going to the gym, if you have a few extra pounds to lose or whatever is, you know, you can go to the gym and everybody looks so fit and they're all a size five and they're all so buff, right? And so I'm already kind of dealing with that when I walk in the gym. I want somebody who's going to treat me like a person, not make me feel embarrassed or feel bad. And so gently, like that was a good word, gently helping me to correct my form or something in a nice caring way is so important. It's also the difference between whether I would go back or not, right? So <laughs> sure. You know, Patty, one thing, um, I know it doesn't quite go in with the question, but when you were saying I go into a gym and I have a back issue, you know, so much about fitness, I have to tell you so much about fitness is really not about exercise. If I can, if I can reach who you are as a human being, fitness is really just something we kind of do together, like playing cards, because really I want to know you, you're the person I want to, I want to reach, um, you know, it, 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 listen, this is going to sound silly. If we carry some extra pounds, like you said, you know what? All that is, is it, it's like a, a mini storage. We just carry some, some extra calories out there. I want to know you. You're the person I want to know. I want to know your soul. I want to know who you are as a person. This is just exercise. But if I can reach your soul, we got a lifetime together, girl. And, and it's really not that hard to move the dial. That's so true. That is the most because... profound, powerful thing I think I have ever heard. I'm going to almost cry. Isn't that, <laughs> that cool? Is, that is like amazing. Really, honestly, man, yeah. I, I, I want to send this to like everybody because I think that is so important. But I think that it's also something in reality that every business should be thinking about, right? It doesn't matter what you sell, what your business is. Mm -hmm. We always should be looking at that other person as, you know, looking at their soul, them as a person. And whatever the problem is that you have the solution for, whatever that is, really that's just 
the thing that you do. It isn't who you are. It's not who they are. So actually, I think that's just a really, really great business principle in general. So thank you so much for that, Mike. Yes, Mike, that was uh, amazing. Amazing. Um, so going into my question, what is the best compliment you've ever received from a client? Huh. Well, look, I'm, here's my pat answer, but then I'm going to expand just a little bit. You know, thank you is really the highest compliment. So, uh, you know, you think about, for me, starting a business, you know, I was in the grocery business for 20 years and uh, you come out of blue collar, you open your own business, which is, uh, you know, it's a venture I always wanted to do. But out of all the certifications and all the things I've learned and all the experiences I've had, for me to be able to put that forward and for somebody to come in and say, thank you, well, that gives value to my effort prior to that moment. But the biggest compliment is, and I'm going to use Teresa as an example, not because I'm kind of trying to schmooze here, but because everybody will be able to relate. Look, I opened a business and I hope to, for it to be successful and I love people, but you know what the biggest compliment is, is that Teresa, you take time. We have created a friendship. There's a depth that's more than a friendship of, Hey, let's go get a coffee. There's a depth to our friendship that is eternal. There is no greater gift. Oh, it's not money. Yes. There is no greater gift. And that is the greatest compliment that uh, uh, any other person on planet earth would invest any of their time and any of their heart back to me. And it's only because I opened my doors, but that, what there is no greater compliment in life. Uh, that's so cool. You know, that reminds me of Patty's um, quote that she said, what you're like a boomerang, what you put out to the world comes back as a boomerang back to you. And I think that's what you're seeing, Mike, is that you're, you're giving more than just, okay, do this exercise, eat this. Yeah, that's you nice. are just kind of pouring into that person. So a lot of your clients, I see they reciprocate to you in that form. I love this. This is, this is a, this is the week of Thanksgiving. And I have to tell you, like, I know we're not posting one on Thanksgiving week, right? But boy, this would be like such a great Thanksgiving <laughs> one. Cause I have to tell you like what you're saying really aligns with how I, you know, do business. I really feel like for me, I've always said, you know, lead with contribution, compensation will follow, but it always starts with contribution and having a serve, not sell mindset. So I have to tell you, she has spoke really highly of you. Teresa talks about you all the time. And I have to tell you, I understand why now, because this has been <laughs> like amazing, really honestly amazing. I love it. Yes. So that is great. So Mike, do you have a special project or a new project or something that you're working on right now so we can serve and support you? You know, Patty, this is probably where I'm going to lose some brownie points. <laughs> so listen. I don't see how, but go ahead. <laughs> so, and, and Teresa and I have spoken about this. Um, so I'm, I'm a dreamer. Um, I have in my home, I have, uh, you know, drawing pads that we used to have as kids. Mm -hmm. uh, I just sit down and I just write out my dreams that I feel like I don't know what it is that my spirit has. And I draw and I try to draw the house that I want. And these are the visions I have. I have fitness festival visions that I have. I have ideas. But you know what? I might have a tough time tying my shoe because I'm so far out in the weeds of ideas that I have. So it's the backfill of, yeah, I want to create this and I want this content and I want to do this. But you know what? I don't want to sit down and grind. And, and that's bad because nothing gets done. <laughs> it was his, your you, your sound again. went off again, Mike. Your sound went off again. <laughs> Did you push a button or something? There it goes. There you go. Okay, good. Yeah. So I think my challenge is just trying to sit down long enough to put it down on paper and then what forms do I need to do? What, I mean, you know, I'll put a sign on the door and it just says close these hours and everybody's like, why didn't you put a turkey on there? I don't <laughs> want to put a turkey on there. It's just a word document and it's done. Those are just not my skills. Those just aren't my strengths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, but you don't want to know what I'm going to say to that. 
you I can hire other people for those things, right? You know, like I say, work in your brilliance and hire other people to work in theirs. Because it doesn't matter how great you could be at all those other things, at the core, people want to work with you, right? It's all about you and you've nailed that. So the other things, they're just not as important. I mean, would they maybe make you more money? Maybe. But the bottom line, it sounds to me like you have a service mentality and you have a heart, right? And stuff. And I say that's more important than anything else you you could do. So I say keep on going. So just uh, just to confirm, Pat, you said it's all about me, right? Can you say that again? I'm going to record that. <laughs> because <laughs> it is right you know Stop. look at how you're serving <laughs> like you're serving so many people i have to tell you and i'm not kidding i have never and i have worked with a lot of people in the fitness world and i have never and i'm not just saying that because you're on the show but i have never ever felt like the person in the fitness world wasn't just thinking about, oh, I could help you do this and I could help you do this and, and feeling good about what they do because that's what they do. But I have to tell you, I've never met you before or even spoke to you before we got on this call. And I actually really through the computer can really feel like you would really, really care about what my goals are as a person and stuff. And I have to tell you, that's not a skill set you learn. That's a skill that you either have. It's a heartfelt, um, makes you who the person that you are. And I have to tell you, you can't pay for that. That's powerful. No, you can't pay for it. And Mike uh, is the kind of person that anything he would go into as a career, he would be great at it just because he has that innate skill set with people. <sighs> but we want to serve you, Mike. You've done so much to help everybody else. Like, what can we do? Like, who can we introduce you to? Like, what? how can we serve and support you? Like, this is your opportunity to kind of really give us the opportunity to give back. Because, you know, I think a lot of times when you are very service oriented and we really care about other people, somebody told me once something I never forgot. It was really hard for me too. They said, you know what, Patty, you're very giving. But sometimes when you're a really giving person, it's a disservice in a way to other people because people want to give to you too. And sometimes you have to let them because it's how they want to serve you and feel good. So this is your opportunity to practice that. So, so we're going to give you the opportunity here to be like, you know, give us the pleasure to be able to serve you. There must be something that we can do. Well, uh, you're right. That is a challenge for me to say, okay, you can help. Uh, mm -hmm. That's something I got to work on. Well, yes. you wanna, what any... I always say, if they can't tell us, we just start figuring it out. Teresa, yes. like, you know, Mike, what can we do to help him? If he can't ask for himself, what could we do to help him? How are we going to spread the word? Yeah, Patty and I are we need couldn't... to introduce him to what? What do we need to do, Teresa? Oh, I think Mike needs to spread the word more about fitness in his own very way at his uh, target market, so to speak. I think he needs to speak, and he's done some of this, he needs to speak more so people know what he does and how he can serve them. So getting on podcasts, being interviewed on um, uh, different shows like this, um, and getting him out there so people can see who he is because Patty, you know, so many people and we're thinking, oh, well, you you're probably don't impress that easy, but I could tell you were generally, genuinely in I can tell you we're on the show. Time. I already want to say like, as soon as, the, as soon as this record button goes off, the first thing I'm going to say, just so you know, our next conversation is going to be about, I want you on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I think getting Mike more out there in some form or fashion um, would be, would be amazing. So Mike, how do people connect with you? What social media platform are you the most active on? And if somebody wanted to reach out to you, and I kind of believe that every single person who watches this video is going to want to, so get ready. Um, how do you want them to do it? What's the best way for them to connect with you? Well, I have my magic mic. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had to throw that in there somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna, I'll give you my phone number. They can call or text me. Okay. Um, but, but I'm also on, I'm on Facebook and I, I'm on Instagram. So should I just, you want me to just give you the, that information? You can tell us anything you want. This is your moment. Okay. 
So my name is Mike Kirsten. My, my cell phone is 559-349-7934. Like I said, you can call me, you can text me uh, if you want to set up an appointment where we can chit chat, talk about, um, you know, any, any kind of questions that you have, anything that you've heard. And listen, if you heard something about nutrition and you're like, you know what, Mike, I, this is what I've heard and then talk to me about it. I can tell you what I know about it. I'll be honest with you about it. And I can tell you what I have found has worked best. I'm not a doctor. And that's probably. That's probably a good thing. You went out again. Yeah, you went out again. Do you want to give us your Facebook call? Hello. There, oh, there, there you, you are. You, are. you know you what the are. good thing is, Mike? You're worth waiting for. So even when <laughs> we go out, your information is so good, we don't mind waiting for it. You're very kind. Yeah. Um, so he's pretty easy to find. He's at um, uh, Clovis Fit Body Bootcamp on on Facebook, and um, and I'm sure that when that comes out, he'll put more in the chat in the notes. Yes, when we post about this. Make mm -hmm. sure you watch yes. for a friend request from me because I'll be connecting with you for sure. Um, this has been fabulous, Mike. I mean, really, I mean, this like literally I have to even say it made my whole day, right? So thank you so much for being a guest on the show. I really appreciate it for everybody that's listening. I really want to believe that this really honestly was just what you needed to hear today. I hope that the things he said, the business principles, the example he is showing and being so open to serve. I mean, who doesn't have questions about fitness, right? You know, so make sure that you reach out to Mike, you know, you connect with him, right? And if you enjoyed the show, don't keep it a secret, like share it on your network so we can spread the word. I believe your colleagues and your friends will thank you. So Teresa, over to you. Thank you. Well, I have an invitation for you. We would like to invite you to join us on our Facebook group and connect with our guest and with Patty and I and to the other amazing women and men that are part of the Professional Women's Network of the Monterey Peninsula, known as PWN, and now includes members locally, nationally, and internationally too. And we would love to have you join us and share your expertise with our audience. You can visit us at www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash PWN Monterey. Thank you. And thank you, Teresa, for being my amazing co-host. Thank you again, my Mike, pleasure. for being here with us today. Literally, I have to tell you, you made my day. I really, really appreciate it. Look forward to connecting and you will be getting um, questions from me for sure. So be ready <laughs> and stuff though. I really appreciate it. Have a fabulous holiday. Happy Thanksgiving. And um, to everyone out there, we're not going to have one live this week. If you're hearing this, we did skip that week. So, you know, but we will be showing up for you and posting this on Friday. So we will talk to everybody soon. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Bye ladies. Thank you. <laughs>